the great outdoors with Cam Lab 4x4s. Sometimes we like to do more than just go outdoors and today I have this Rockfish SATA hard drive enclosure. This is an enclosure kit. This is a Seagate one terabyte hard drive. The original enclosure for it broke and so I have to put it in a new enclosure. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to show you how to install a hard drive into a SATA hard drive enclosure kit. Hope you enjoy the video. First thing you want to do is take your Rockfish SATA hard drive enclosure out of the box. You have your power cord, SATA data connector, the base for the hard drive, the side cover for the hard drive. This is the actual enclosure itself. You have the other half to the power cable. Comes with a screwdriver, some screws, and you have your external <coughs> USB port to go from your hard drive to your computer. This particular hard drive also came with software. Roxio, back on track. I'm sure that's an instructional DVD. And these are the directions for installing your new hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and take the hard drive enclosure out. And it has four screws on the bottom. You want to take your screwdriver out of the pack. It's very smart to put all your tools on top of your instruction booklet and your screws, that way you don't lose it. Take your screwdriver and just uh, take off the four screws on the back. And you want to make sure that you don't lose these screws. This particular hard drive has a SD card dock and an MS card and a CFMD card and an SD card dock where you can take the card out of your camera and plug it directly into the hard drive and then the top will pop off like so you want to take the hard drive you want to enclose and take the two brackets that came with the kit these brackets will go on the side of the hard drive like so Take your screwdriver that came with the kit. And the bracket goes on the side that doesn't have the SATA connections on it. Once you get your bracket on, you want to take the, the rubber bushing that came with it and place it on the side like so. In this little groove, right side up. Now we want to get to the other side and install the other bracket. And it's kind of tricky getting these screws in. One more to do. That's with the brackets mounted on the side completed. Now it's ready to go in the external hard drive enclosure. Now the screwdriver that came with the kit is a very small screwdriver. And it's very hard to get these screws to tighten with this particular screwdriver. So I got a bigger screwdriver to give the screw more torque. So we want to tighten these screws up on the bracket and just get them tight so we can get this bracket real snug. So we got this side tight as it can be. And you can see that this side's loose. So we're going to tighten it real quick. So we got our fourth screw tightened. And once you do that, it's pretty simple. You'll see the SATA connections on one side of your hard drive. In your hard drive case, you'll see SATA connections in there. So you just want to take your hard drive and just slide it in to those connections. So this connection goes into that black connection. You simply slide your hard drive into place like so. And when it's snug tight, your screw holes should line up with these screws. So you just want to tighten these four bushings, these four bushings on the sides. Alright, so all the bushings are tightened. 
the hard drive is securely in place it's a good idea to install this little piece of foam on the top of your hard drive just to keep it from rattling up against the top case and we're just making sure that we get this case on here right and you just mash it up press it down push it firmly into place and then take the original screws that you had when you took off the cover and just tighten those okay so we're pretty much officially done now we can take the base for the hard drive stick it in like so now this black cover you saw is an uh, optional black cover that you can put on instead of the silver one but I want it to match so I'm just going to throw this away or keep it in case this cover breaks now you want to take your power cord take it out of the packaging plug this power cord in to the power pack and then you have the uh, the DC connection put it in like so then take the computer cord USB cord that came with the external hard drive kit and you're going to plug that in right above your power so you plug your USB into your computer and your plug 110 volt plug into the wall and you're good to go this particular hard drive that I installed is a Seagate and it was an external hard drive to begin with so there's no software or anything like that that I'm going to have to install. It's already been, the hard drive's already been formatted and so all I have to do is plug it into the computer and it's good to go. So we got it all plugged in. It's got yellow to the backup light. Just showing you that the power is on. Since it popped up on our desktop, free edge of drive, we know that it is properly working. Scroll over here, and there's nothing on this hard drive, so it's blank. I hope you enjoyed this video from Camo 4x4s on how to install a hard drive and an external hard drive enclosure kit. For more useful videos like this, subscribe today, and I promise you won't regret it. More videos coming soon. Real in the flat rod over here. You might need to get ready to get